I think anyone that's ever trained has had many of these days uh, where you come in and you feel like shit. Um, no enthusiasm, no energy, um, just doing the session for the sake of doing it. Um, that's the session I had today. So everything kind of went against me today. Basically training was the last thing on my mind today. Um, just busy. Uh, and so if I was in any other program, I'd be like, no, nah, no training today. But uh, I did train today. Um, and it just showed, you know, the bar felt heavy, 60 felt heavy, 100 kilos felt really heavy. So I got, I think, 15 reps. I think it was 15 reps with 100 kilos, which is basically half of what I can do on a good day. Um, so it just shows you that today's not my day. Today's not the day to push or to get frustrated with. You just have one of those days that you don't have it in you. So um, on top of all of that, I didn't help myself either because um, the day's been busy. Um, I just ate 45 minutes ago. It was a fairly big meal. Um, and I've said this before, but I, like, I feel weak as shit after food. Obviously, no one's supposed to train 45 minutes after um, eating, uh, but I definitely feel I just can't stabilize my trunk. Um, I feel like my position in the bottom is compromised. I, I kind of ram my back at the bottom and I feel like I'm just laboring. Uh, there's no technique, there's no fun for me. If I don't lift properly and I feel like I'm just working hard, uh, I'm hoisting the, the weight up, I don't have fun with that, man. Like, for me, it's all about technique, it's about perfection, it's about using leverages and mechanical advantages to yourself. Um, and not just, you know, working hard for the second working hard. So, I'm gonna call it quits here. I'm not gonna, you know, increase the weight. I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna let the body catch up and uh, tomorrow morning I'll get in here and uh, put in a good quality session, hopefully. Um, and I think that's fine. Like, I think a lot of people have those expectations that every, every single day they work out is supposed to be the, the good day. Um, so if you're doing a three days a week thing and your, your programming is very rigid, um, this day, this type of day would upset your programming, right? Like, you know, you're not gonna hit your numbers. Um, and this is where some of my philosophies come um, come to the surface when it comes to these rigid programs. I, I, I honestly think they don't work for the everyday, you know, average Joe, uh, if you will. Um, because the average Joe has basically training further down the list of priorities. Like, you're not an athlete, you're not a paid athlete. Your life doesn't revolve around that. It's not your job. Um, so we, most of us kind of fit this in on the side. At the end of the day, at the start of the day, it's kind of, kind of out of everyone's way. Um, either you're getting up four o'clock in the morning like I do, or you're staying up quite late to get your training session in. You're, the, you're that type of guy. Um, I've never been the sort to kind of like put my whole life on hold because of training. That's not me. Um, training is basically an accessory to my life. So anyway, just yapping on about about nothing really. But um, all I really want to say in this video is that it's okay. Don't get frustrated. You're gonna have shit days. Um, the good thing about squatting every day is that you have plenty of opportunities to redeem yourself. Um, and so you kind of you can go with the ebbs and flows of of your life and when you're at the bottom just you know put in a session hit the clock get in do it and then get out um, I'm not in, into it today physically or mentally uh, so there's no point of trying to get to 180 kilos don't feel good so that's basically where I'm gonna leave it um, but yeah so it was just a squat session literally this is taking me 20 minutes I try to warm up a little bit longer just to kind of get the blood flow going <laughs> But half of my blood volume is right now in my digestive system trying to process the food I ate. And I'm trying to get a muscle pump. It just makes no sense. I'm going against the grain here. Um, so yeah, don't eat, um, I guess, within two hours of your training session. Um, space it out a little bit. Let, let the food digest. I normally have very little to eat in the morning or don't eat at all before my training sessions. This is why I like to train in the morning is because my digestive tract is, hasn't really had anything to digest for eight hours, nine hours or whatever. Um, so that's why I prefer uh, morning sessions. Anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow. Hopefully I'm gonna get a good quality workout then. See you guys.